You've heard about service dogs for people who are blind or even people with epilepsy, but did you know that some children with autos autism can be matched with a service dog? In fact, one is being trained right now in Avon for this very, very special purpose. Melissa Cole got to meet her and hear how she's going to be helping a very special child. Take a look. Need a good cup of coffee? Maybe a yummy treat? Well, then look no further than Beans and Company in Avon, where owner Kim Morrison tells us everyone belongs. Our mission for Beans is to um, in employ adults with uh, intellectual and developmental disabilities along with a staff of 50%, so 50% with disabilities and 50% without. That is a real life model, we believe, and um, it's proving to be working amazing. And was your daughter one of the reasons that you wanted to do something like oh, this? Oh yeah, she was the reason. <laughs> yeah, She was aging out of the school system. Um, she was in a transition academy and around 19 years old we really started talking seriously about um, you know what's going to happen once she ages out and we realized like there's no jobs waiting for that population at all so together with my business partner whose daughter also has Down syndrome we got together and quickly came up with an amazing business plan. That plan worked out well the cafe has been thriving for the last four years and if you've been in recently, you might have noticed something new. So now you have a new addition. We do. Kind something of new. adorable. Yes, I know, I know. <laughs> Meet Beans the puppy. She's learning to be a service dog for a child with autism. Betty Goldfarb is a volunteer puppy raiser with Blue Path Service Dogs. <laughs> and how big will she get? I'm thinking maybe 50, 55, somewhere in that range. Betty is training Beans and brings her to this coffee shop almost every day. She's learning commands and socialization. Okay, Beans, let's go. Let's go. Yay, good girl. Customers love seeing her walking through the shop. Beans is only weeks old now, but when she's about two and a half, she'll be ready to meet the child she's matched up with. First and foremost, Beans will provide safety. She'll actually be tethered to the child to help stop a dangerous situation like running into a parking lot. If they're walking and the child were to run, she's taught to immediately go in a sit or a down and become an anchor. So the child only gets as far as the tether. It probably takes two times before they realize, I love my dog so much, I would not want to run away. So that's the big part of safety that they can now they can go to the store, they can go to the post office and not be afraid. Beans will also be a companion to help the child with social skills. If you saw the family walking down the street, uh, you would be, can I say hi to your dog? What's her name? And now you have engaged this child in a social setting that they can tell you this is who it is and they're so proud to be able to tell you that as much as they are capable of communication. Um, so she's that social bridge. So customers can get a chance to see Beans doing some of these special commands. Exactly, exactly. We'll just start with sit, because okay. that's the first one that she will learn. So it tells the puppy to uh, put her behind on the ground or the floor. Beans, sit. Yes. Yes, good girl. All right. She recognizes her name now. Beans, come. Yes, good girl. Yeah, good girl. So this is a card that I got from Blue Path as a thank you, uh, you know, for doing what I do. Uh, and the picture is of Caroline and Trooper. They were able to go to the beach. And she always had a hard time with car rides. And now Trooper's in the car. Come on, Trooper's in the car. And she hops right in. We had one family that uh, had five kids, one of whom had autism, and they were out to dinner. And the seven-year-old says, isn't it amazing how one life has changed seven? And it's so true. Beans is 13.6 pounds now and is growing fast. Every week, people who stop into the shop can guess her weight. We have weigh, weigh in Wednesdays, so we take the guesses. It's a dollar a guess. Um, all the money that we raise goes directly to Blue Path because it is, you know, an undertaking to raise a puppy that will be given to a family. We always say they change lives one dog at a time, and 
She's changed my life. She's changed the life of everyone here who's met her. And she's gonna change that family's life. I know what she's going to become. And uh, that's gonna make me so proud. What a great organization and great dog, great yeah, story. Yeah, so great. Don't forget to go to the coffee shop sure. uh, in Avon, but uh, you can also check out more uh, about Blue Path Service Dogs. You can visit their website, bluepathservicedogs.org. And if you want to meet Beans, you can find her at Beans and Company yeah, in Avon. Yeah, I think they're right on 44. Yeah, open Monday through Saturday, closed Sundays. We're told Beans will be there most days. Good. I want to go say hi to get a hug from Beans. Absolutely, me 